Hello, 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 what's going on everyone? I am the Red Bunny, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys two new mods, as you can see I already have, okay, I have both the mods active, but right now, this mod is the only one I want to show off at the moment, it's the custom NPCs mod, and you may notice that I'm joining the Bummin Buddy Link, hey Link! <laughs> yes, hello to me indeed, Link, and uh, you may notice my uh, two unknown guests behind me, that's for later on. I was planning on doing a Minecraft roleplay sooner or later, but right now I'm going to have to wait in order to do that. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the custom NPCs mod, which is what you're seeing right now. If I pull out my custom NPC wand, you may notice that you can see custom NPC wand right here in the corner of my screen near the close button. And can you guys guess which mod it is? I'll give you a second. For those of you who couldn't guess it, I don't know if you can see my screen right there in the corner, it is the More Player Models 2 mod. And this is all for 1.8. I swapped from 1.8.8 to 1.8. Yep. And of course the mod is, aside from my Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, the custom NPCs mod, the Doggy Talents mod, and the Minecraft Comes Alive mod, everything here is just fabulously done. Like, I am seriously, uh, 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 weird. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff in here. I just so happen to realize that a lot of YouTubers actually have this one. And it took me a while to find it, because usually, I'll just show you guys. When a YouTuber who plays Minecraft usually goes into the inventory, this is basically what you can see. From the quests to the factions, ignore that to this. And I was like, wait, I actually found the mod that does all this? Wow, that was pretty easy. Apparently, it all came within the, uh, the blocks and stuff all came with the custom NPC mod. And then you have the more player models 2 mod, which I'm going to be showing you guys about today. Now, uh, with my custom NPC wand, I'm pretty sure most of you have already looked this up, but I'm going to be leaving links down in the description on how to get this mod. Of course, you can watch videos on YouTube on how to customize them and all that. Of course, uh, when you actually spawn them in, they'll look like a Steve. You can name them. You can choose a skin because the mod gives you multiple skins that you can choose from, from female to male, and mostly most of the girl skins look terrible. It's just uh, maybe some of the elf girls might look nice. I mean, I found a Zoe skin that Aphmau uses, but I also found a, a nice cute uh, elf girl skin. Uh, Link is in elf male down at the bottom. I think it, I think, can't really remember where I got his skin from. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, let me just escape for a quick second. And now here we are. The custom NPCs mod. Of course, I'm getting my mods from Sky Days, because the mods are always seem to be nice and up to date, and this one's for 1 1.8. Ha! Anyway, just uh, scroll on down, you can see. Uh, if you want to, you could probably, like, watch videos or anything, but you can scroll all the way down to downloads and click download here. I already have the mods, and I'm currently off my Wi-Fi at the moment, because I came inside. There was too much noise outside while I was trying to record, so I came inside where it's nice and quiet. Anyway, you can just click download here and the file will pop down there, and the next, again, oh, and I almost forgot, links will be down in the description, and the next is the More Player Models mod. Of course, as you can see, Dan the Diamond Minecart, or Dan TDM, has also made a video called Minecraft Transfiguration. And if you could scroll down, you may notice like different features in the mod and stuff. A lot of people have tried it. Anyway, you can scroll all the way down to downloads again and click download here, don't zip. Now, once both of the files are downloaded, I'm just going to close these off because I don't need them. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, you guys are going to enjoy this because it's, uh, with the more players mod, you're going to actually be able to use your Minecraft player skin. Because in my first video that I ever uploaded was how to change your skin for uh, those of you that use Minecrafter, and well, the majority of you said it didn't work. Well, now I'm going to give you a mod that you can install for your cracked version of Minecraft, 
Again, I am using Mind Shafter, and this will work just as better. But for now, uh, right, let me get into it. Once you download the mods that will be in your download folder here, you can open them up using WinRAR, of course. Please. Uh, you can double click on the custom NPCs and then you will see this little box right here. You can either click and drag it onto your desktop. Oh, oh wait, uh, skip. Uh. <laughs> oh no, I forgot I already have it on there. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so you can see I have my custom NPCs mod installed. Then you just double click on it. Click run. And uh, yeah, you're just going to install them all. As soon as this is done, uh, since I'm off the Wi-Fi, this won't ever do. So what you're going to do is, if you are on the Wi-Fi anyway, uh, once this uh, pretty much you can see Forge um, default, just click on the drop-down arrow and you can just click on whichever version of Minecraft you have. But this is mostly used for 1.8. I'll make that specific now. It's for 1.8. There are other versions of it, but mine right now is for 1.8. You can just click for 1.8, you can hit install mod, they will ask you do you want to make backup files, you will click yes, and uh, once they're done making the backup files, you can just hit ok, and it will begin to install the mods. But aside from the custom NPCs mod, here is, let's see now, where is it, ah, here we go, the more player models mod. Okay. And you're going to want to double click on that, and of course, here it is. You can just click and drag it onto the desktop. There it is. Escape that, exit that. And of course, uh, your Minecraft has to be closed when you're uh, going to install these mods. As you can see, all my mods are listed here. I'm going to get rid of the RP craft because, well, I was only using it because it came with furniture, but now that I have a new mod, I pretty much don't need it out. There we go. Because that's what the uh, custom NPCs mod is for. It gives you furniture. Actually, that's what my Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod is for. Anyway, uh, again, your Minecraft should be closed when you're installing these two new mods here. And then once they are installed, you don't have to worry about putting them in your Forge folder. Apparently, when I, when I went to see if uh, they were within my Forge folder, because after you click 1.8 and they say that they're done installing it, apparently they already put it within your mods folder. As you can see, custom NPC is 1.8 and more players models 1.8. They were both already within my mods folder. So what I did was I started up my Minecraft and here I am. Ta-da! Now, <laughs> okay, with the NPC wand, again, all you do is just uh, right click there's your character, Oldrick, and then you can just give him a skin, you know, like scroll up. You can press up to exit and just like choose other things, uh, like such as the Dark Elf. See, she looks so nice, but, oh yes, here's the Zoe from Outhouse Videos. Uh, mages, an Elf Queen, another Queen, I guess, and uh, then, ah, uh, here she is, the Elf Warrior. Isn't she just adorable? This, she's just so cute. And then, once you already saw this skin, like, boom, there she is. Aldrich. That's, uh, that's a guy's name. And I just need to show her off for an example. There we go. Isn't that right, Link? Ah. Didn't mean to edit you, Link. Sorry about that. Hmm. Anyway. Aside from the custom NPCs mod, let's move onward to the more player models 2 1.8 mod. Anyway, uh, for those of you that are recording, I would suggest, uh, for those of you that actually record your screen, pressing F12 to actually stop recording. Uh, this would be bad right now because you need to press F12 in order to get into the editing mode. Now, as you can see, uh, the configuration, here is where you can put in your skin URL, but it has to be from Imager. So, give me a second. Here you also have the entity, uh, you can pick whatever creature you want to be. And it's very weird. <laughs> but I'm going to be back to player. You also have a scale on which you can actually with everything on you, like such as your height, 
uh, the broadness of your body. Oh, wait, to, no, here it is. Height of your body, the depth of your body, the width of your body. Oh my gosh, no, oh god. Oh, okay, uh, 100. second to set her back to what she was. Ha! Huh, there she is. Okay. To have on scale, you can also have parts. You can add wings. Of course, I already had these on, so I don't care. You can also give yourself boobs. <laughs> I just thought something. Uh, give me guys, give me a second. I think you guys are gonna know uh, what character this is from. <laughs> um... I think you all are gonna know where this character came from. Can anyone guess? She may not have the skin for it, but I'm pretty sure you guys can guess the character. If you guys remember one of Furious's videos using using uh, Yandere, where he had to defeat Senpai as a girl, then you're right, because this is the bunny guy that was on the roof. <laughs> Ah, uh, but uh, let's uh, not get into that at the moment. Anyway, here we go. Boom. And of course, you can customize your character. You can choose the size and width of their heads, the arms, the body, and the legs. But aside from that, I am going to show you guys. If you guys can just click on config, I'm going to show you guys how to get your skin. Of course, if we had reload skin, that's going to help. But right now, we're going to wait. Right now you're going to want to open up your internet browser. So you can see I already have my skin loaded up here on the skin decks. Of course this is my own skin. My username is GamerGirl1551. And of course, uh, <laughs> there are many my YouTube account. Of course I label as a lot of stuff. I just make skins, either some related to my character or just other skins for fun. Anyway, uh, you can just come on here, look for whatever skin you want. Or if you already have your skin, then you're in luck. But if you still need your skin, you can just download it. I already have my image download. And then you want to go to ingear.com. Of course, again, I already did everything ahead of time because I came inside without my Wi-Fi. Anyway, you're going to click Upload Images. You can browse your computer, or you can just click and drag and then drop it here. And then the image is going to pop up here. You can hit Start Down Upload. And once it's already uploaded, it will bring you to a page like here. You right click on this and then you click open image in new tab. Of course this will be the this will be the URL for the image. And what you're gonna do is you wanna click on that. You're gonna right click it after you already first you click on it, click on it, right click, then you're gonna click copy. Copy the image of course. Then you're gonna send this down. You're gonna come onto Minecraft, you're gonna hit CTRLV which is going to insert the link of your skin. You're going to hit reload skin. It's uh, going to take a while for me because unfortunately I'm off the Wi-Fi. But it would work. Okay, you know what? Guys, give me a second. I'm just going to show how uh, I'm gonna, just going to connect to the Wi-Fi because that's what I'm going to need for my skin to show up. And once I have done that, uh, that's going to be all. So give me... A second, right? Okay, and I'm back. Uh, give me a second. I'm just going to erase this. Hit me, let's see. As you can see, it's back now. I'm going to attempt this again now that I have my Wi Fi back. And let's see, do this. And voila! Here it is. Wow! Oh no, it's raining. Boom! And here I am! With my lovely little TV. Of course my NPC one and on or on my back. Anyway guys, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Hope you guys uh, comment. And uh, I need you guys to leave the names down in the description for me so I can start naming characters that I will eventually spawn in either using the custom NPCs mod, wand, or uh, just random spawns. Uh, anyway, thanks guys!
拜拜。